Hi, my name is Tammy and welcome to Math Kit Tutor. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to play a game called Target Number. You take your uh, board in your kit and I just have a blank piece of paper in there and I wrote Target Number on so the kids would know what game we're playing. Basically, you for beginners, you come up with a target number of three or whatever the cards are. I took the jacks, queens, tens, and kings out and the jokers for this game. Um, so the target number is three and then each person gets five, or I'm sorry, not each person, but everybody that's playing looks at the same five cards. And you try to make three with that. Uh, depending on the level of the student, you can um, you can make it with three equals three like that and you can teach them you know how to write different signs and that you're making an equation or you can get more complicated and try to use as many cards as you want you can go eight minus three is five minus two is three so you could put minus signs in there um, you can give them each a board and they write the equation on here. They can do 8 minus 3 minus 2 equals 3. And they, you can even practice using parentheses to group it um, so that they know how to use the parentheses in the proper order. Um, just as a reminder, the proper order is please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. This means parentheses you do first, then exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. And you move from left to right after you do the, the first, the parentheses, uh, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Okay, so, and you, this game can get harder as well. Once you've got an equation, you can say, I've got it. And then, uh, if you're the first one to get it, you get the points. If it's impossible, you can write an I on your sheet and circle it and say it's impossible. Then all the other players can uh, put over your sand timer that's included in your kit. And they only have so many uh, minutes to come up with a solution. If you declare it impossible and you're correct, you get a point. If you... Um, declare impossible and somebody gets an equation they get two points um, if you're the first one to get a proper equation then you get one point so you can keep score like that or you can keep score with your chips let's say the target number is three again here you use one card three equals three so you get one chip out of the pile um, if you come up with a more complicated equation like um, where you can use all the cards, you would get five chips. If you just use three of the cards like we did earlier, uh, eight minus three minus two, you would get three chips. And then once your pile of chips are all gone after several rounds, you would see who has the most. So there's several ways to play this game. It is awesome for all kinds of practice, multiplication, division. Um, you can have fun with it and change it up. Enjoy your kit and enjoy your game.